1920s, the Industrial Revolution was in full swing, and Britain's cities were getting bigger and better. The only problem when you start bringing that many people together is that you need fresh water, and lots of it. Providing fresh water to the new industrial cities was going to be a big challenge. The problem was particularly bad in London. But the Grand Junction Canal Company had a good idea. Why not use the canal not just for transporting goods, but also as a water supply? So, in 1811, they built a steam-powered pumping engine here at Paddington to supply drinking water. Today the water's pretty clean, but in the 19th century it wouldn't have been. The problem was sewage, raw sewage. With low population levels, streams and watercourses can keep pace, they can flush it away, and you can still use them for drinking water. But with the rapidly expanding population centres in the 19th century, this would have been a cesspit. As cartoons of the time illustrate, one glass of water might contain 20 organisms visible to the eye and a host of bacteria. It could literally be death to drink it. So, people drank beer. The brewing process sterilises water. So that in the 1820s, Londoners alone were drinking four times more beer than the whole country does now. 